Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. So, let's do something spectacular. Stay tuned. So in yesterday's project, we made these wonderful little three by three note card sets using four pieces of six by six paper, or you can use simply one piece of 12 by 12 and still make this cute little set. Guys, it doesn't come any easier than that. And there's so many things that we can do with our six by sixes, but today I am going to show you how to make another box and it'll be a boxed set using one piece of 12 by 12 paper or four pieces of six by six paper. So let's get started. So here is today's project. Isn't this so stinking cute? It is adorable. I absolutely love it and it's so easy to make. And on the inside, I have got these fantastic little holiday cards and they're just three by threes. And I am not a card maker, so I always dress my cards very simply. But I think this is simple elegance here. And I hope that you guys would agree because I think it's such a beautiful set. So let's get started on making this. So the first thing that we're going to need are two pieces of six by six paper. So what I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to score it at one, turn it, score it at one again, And then I'm going to score it at four and a half. And then I'll turn it and score it at one again. And then on this one, and because I'm using directional paper, I want to make sure that when I start scoring, when I fold up, everything is going in the right direction. So this will be my bottom end. I'm going to score that at one. Then I'm going to score this at four and a half. And then I'll come back and score it at five and a half, but I am going to slide it over to do that. So I'm gonna have a little half inch tab right here. And then I'll turn this one and I'm going to score it at one and at one. So let's do these again so that you can make sure that you're following what I'm doing. So on my first piece of six by six paper, which is actually going to be the front of my box, I'm scoring this at one, and then I'll score it at four and a half, and then I'll turn it, and I'm going to score it at one, turn it to the opposite end, and score it at one. So on this piece, I'll only have four scores. And then on the back piece, I'll place it in and I'm gonna score for my bottom, which is one. And then I'll come over and score at four and a half. And then I am going to score this again at five and a half to get a one half inch tab right here. And this will be the piece that folds down to lock my box. Then I'll turn it and I'm going to score this at one and then I'll turn it again to the opposite side and score it at one. All right guys, so now that we've got these two pieces cut, let's go ahead and fold and burnish both. Okay, so once we've got our scores folded and burnished, we're going to take the front piece and you know it's the front because we only made four score marks and you're going to have a much wider band up at the top. So this will be the top and it's going to fold down. So we are going to remove these two corner pieces right here. So all I'll do is come in with my finger blade and I'm just going to remove these pieces.
And then on these, all I'm going to do here at the top is simply glue this down. I'm not even going to make any cuts on this. So make sure you get it glued or taped very well so that it will stay down. And then I'm gonna come back with my bone folder and I'm really gonna work this because I want to make sure that it's nice and crisp so that when I fold it again, my scores are good. So let's get this nice and crisp, just like this, and then I'll fold it and I'll come back and get it nice and tight. So we'll bring in the other piece and you'll know that it's the back piece because you've got this flap here and then a small flap at the top. So this is our bottom. And with the top facing up like this, we need to cut our tabs. So we're not going to cut the tabs and release them down. We're gonna come over here and release them sideways. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I'll bring in my finger blade and I am going to cut my tab so that it's cut here on the side and not coming up from the bottom. So I'll turn this one in the same way and I'm simply going to just angle cut that a little bit because it's simply going to make the box close a lot easier. And then we'll have something that looks like this. So now what we need to do is we cut this way. Now we're going to turn it this way. And this time we will go up to the second score mark and cut straight down. And then we're going to do an angle cut just like that. And then what I'm going to do is come back with my scissors and just cut half of that off because this will be my side tab. So I'm just releasing a little bit of that. And I'll also come back to my little flap here in the front, cut it at an angle because that'll make it easier for us to close our box. So there, we've got it looking just like this. So now what I want to do is I want to take this piece and join it to this piece. But before I do that, I am going to trim off just a little bit because it'll make it easier for me to match this up. So once I've taken off just a little bit, I'm gonna come back with my glue, place my glue on the bottom piece here piece that does not have any tabs on it and then all I want to do is get this matched up so I am just going to take it and lay it down and then I'll stand it up and I want to make sure that I've got score to score matches and then I'll come back with my bone folder and just smooth that out and now I've got a box that I can start putting together. But before I do that, I want to cut my acetate, my window for my acetate. So where I cut the window is on the part here that does not have the flap. So I'll come to this part and I'm going to take some glue and my square measures two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And I'm just using a, a spare piece of a scrap piece of chipboard. I am going to place this down, try to get it nice and centered. Then I'll come back with my bone folder, rub that in. And then I'm going to come back and just trim this out. And then once I remove it, I've got a very nice little opening for my piece of acetate. And so I have a piece of acetate that measures three by three. And all I'm going to do is take some glue. You can use glue or very thin tape. 
you happen to have tape that measures, say, an eighth of an inch, you can use that. So I am going to take this, place it down, make sure I don't get any glue showing in the front, and then I'm just going to pat this down just a little bit so that it can start to dry. And while it's drying, I am going to come back and put the box together. So the way that we put our box together is we're going to bring it up. The part with the acetate is our front, so this is the part that we're going to glue down last. So we'll take our glue, place it right here on our tab, bring this piece up, the back piece, and just get it matched up. Go on the inside with bone folder or whatever you have and get that stuck down. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to place my glue just like this. And then I am simply going to get this matched up. Come on the inside and work my glue in. And now I can take these pieces and place some glue on them and we get to close our box. So I'll bring this piece over like this, get it matched up, stick my hand on the inside to get that straightened out, and then I will bring my bone folder on the inside and get everything nice and stuck. And I'll do the same thing on this side. So I am simply going to place my glue on my side tab here. I'm going to be very generous with the glue because I want my box to stay stuck together. And then I'll take this piece, fold it over, come back and adjust it if I need to. And then I'm going to fold this back go in on the inside and smooth that down okay guys so let's make the cards so you can take two pieces of six by six paper cut it in half just like we did yesterday and end up with four pieces of six by three fold them in half and you've got your three by three cards to begin working with so all I'm going to do very simple is I have these little gold strips that I cut out and they're half an inch and I'm just going to add some glue I'm going to open this up so I don't get it on the inside. And then I'm just going to place this down. Because like I've said many, many times, I am not a card maker. So I go with the simple. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one. So I'm going to put some glue on this one. Place it down. And then I'll just come back and snip off the overhang. And then I have this bag of really wonderful Christmas sentiments from Anna Griffin, and I absolutely love everything she does. So I'm going to take my sentiment, just put a little bit of glue on the back, and then I'll just place this on here just like this. Like I said, this is nothing um, complicated, very simple, but it is truly next leveling the simple, and that's what we're all about. Next leveling everything that we do. We never want to just be ordinary. We want to be extraordinary. So I'm going to put this one down just like that. And in this box, you can get four three by three cards and envelopes. So I'm going to put that in there just like that so you guys can see just how this looks. And then I'm going to come back and just very simply decorate this box. So I am going to take some of my little hollies here and they're actually stickers so I'll peel off the back 
and I am going to place it down just like this. Then I'm going to come back with my bow. I'm going to place a little bit of glue on the back. And then I'm just going to place that right here, just like this. I want to make sure I don't get glue close to the opening so that it won't open. And there we have it. We have got these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous little boxes, guys, using six by six papers. And you can put four cards in and four envelopes. More than enough room for that. So I hope that you guys have liked this really wonderful little project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, come on guys. I would love to have you join my online crafting family. As I love to say, we do next level crafting on this channel and we have a lot of fun doing it. Nothing will ever be ordinary when you craft with the Posh Paper Lady. So y'all have a great day. Happy crafting and we'll chat later. Bye.